Guess what we're doing? We're crossing borders again. Yes, we yeah. do. Uh, Guatemala to El Salvador. And uh, so we just finished our uh, PCR test. In Guatemala City? Yep, it's in Guatemala City. We went to Blue Medical. Uh, I know that there are a, a lot of people that are circulating um, and sharing documents and photoshopping those. We've heard that. Um, and we've also heard that the uh, border officials are starting to get wise to it and are able to check if the document's been used before. And uh, we've heard of some people being extorted for quite a bit of money. So we certainly recommend uh, trying to do it uh, as legit as possible. Okay, so this is our uh, update. We parked uh, outside the Texaco um, about 30 minutes from the border. Uh, it's the one with the Super 24. We just parked here. We thought we would have to talk to somebody about parking here, but nobody came. And Nobody uh, cared? Nobody cared. <laughs> it was super quiet, and uh, that ended up working out just fine for us. But let me just go through the, the list of paperwork that uh, we have to have in order to cross the border with a vehicle. Um, you can have either your registration or your title. So if you own it outright, obviously you have your title. Uh, we have both originals and um, we have two copies of everything. What? Blah, blah, blah. Um, here are our uh, blue medical test results. Uh, they only send them to you electronically. So, I mean, the originals are technically just uh, print-offs. Uh, they look like this. Um, this is our uh, temporary import permit documentation for Guatemala. We actually have to return the tip. Even though it's a C4, the tip is not valid for all of the C4. You have to get a new tip when you go to uh, El Salvador. Tip is temporary import permit for the vehicle. So we have to have this, turn it in, and have a copy of that. When we turn it in, we need to make sure that they take the sticker off the windshield and make a copy of that so that we can take that to the El Salvador border. Uh, once we do that and we actually go to uh, cross into El Salvador territory, then we're gonna get a, uh, I guess a white pamphlet of paper that we turned in the tip and that they validated our um, entry stamp and gave us an exit stamp from Guatemala. Okay, let's talk about the dogs. So the dogs were uh, not super complicated. Um, it's the same stuff. You have to show proof of rabies, um, parovirus, distemper, hepatitis, uh, infosocia, uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, leptospirosis, okay, it's DHLPP, uh, and then we had to get them a booster on uh, Portatella, and then obviously rabies. Rabies has to be done at least 30 days in advance of getting the health certificate, so don't think that you can go and get uh, a rabies vaccine like two days before you travel mm -hmm. because they're not gonna accept it. Yeah, um, compared to Mexico, we did, we did have to go to another to sanitary or something like that, just vet. Yeah, yeah, because the vet actually was able to issue these like mm, kind of zoo sanitary certificates for us. So there's four that they issue. Um, they're fairly expensive. 450 uh, quetzales for um, each for each dog. One is a certification for the uh, actual uh, health certificate. The other is like basically a tax that they charge 50Q for the importation of the dogs. Okay, so we had two of those each and then the health certificate pretty straightforward. I mean, it's just like on a piece of paper, uh, one piece of paper and then signed by the vet. This should be everything that we need to cross. So we're going to see how it goes. We made it to the border. <laughs> 30 minutes from Texaco. Uh, so we're crossing at uh, Valle Nuevo. And um, we were under the impression that we were going to get what kind of currency? Colon. Colon. Salvadorian 
Colon. Yeah, we read that Colon is a official currency in El Salvador and we were ready to do exchange from uh, Guatemalan Quetzal to Colon, but yeah. we noticed that uh, guys here on the border, they actually selling dollars, American dollars. And we were like, why are they right. selling American dollars? Like, we're not even close to America. But apparently, we I've been I've been hearing rumors that El Salvador may be the first country to adopt Bitcoin, Bitcoin as yeah. their uh, standard currency. So it sounds like they're actually like in the middle of that process, like transitioning, like getting rid of Cologne. I don't really I really don't know what that's gonna look like because you're not gonna have physical Bitcoin, right? right. It's all or, electronic. Or how you're gonna use it when you go to another country? Well, yeah, that's true. Plus, I, I really, is so unstable. I, really don't, I don't know what's I, the I really idea. I really don't know. Um, but uh, either way, it sounds like they're going to be taking uh, dollars and uh, Bitcoin. We don't have any Bitcoin, <laughs> so they're going to be taking dollars. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're waiting for the um, uh, the importation office to open. Uh, they open at eight. And that's when we can do the return of the Guatemalan tip and get the copies and then uh, head to the El Salvadorian border. So we're waiting. It's 740. So the immigration office actually opens before the importation and export office. And so we were able to stamp out of Guatemala. And the ticket that they give you is uh, just this guy here. It's the uh, ticket for the CA4. CA4 is Guatemala, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. And this is what you'll give the um, El Salvadorian officials once you cross the bridge here in Valle Nuevo. And I imagine it's the same at any of the, any of the border crossings that you go to. Um, but uh, just wanted to show you, make sure you get the ticket because you're gonna need that when you, uh, when you start to cross. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, listo We officially made it El Salvador Wow, that was long That was long I mean, it was pretty long, seven, eight, nine. We got there at seven, seven, eight, nine, thirty, two and a half hours. I mean, yeah, normal. It's not, I guess. it's not so bad, you know. They, I think that they were a little bit uh, surprised um, and unfamiliar with importing a vehicle, temporary import of a vehicle, because I don't think many people do it really. Um, not every day for sure. Yeah, not every day. And so they had to kind of go through the process and like learn how to do it. So then, so it was one group that did it and then another group that uh, had to like validate it and then create the official seal. Uh, they don't give you a window sticker anymore. Now you just get an official document. Uh, Important thing, they don't stamp. They don't put stamp. They don't put stamp on passports. And so it's your, normal. It's yeah, totally it's, normal. It's normal. Yeah. Uh, until we get to Honduras and they say, oh, where's your stamp? You owe me $200. <laughs> uh, no problems with the PCR test, even though there was a screw up between the, the QR code and what it said on the sheet. They literally did not check. So the, only, the only checking they did of the dogs was their poses so they yeah. could take pictures of yeah. them. Um, they did not check uh, the check van inside. They opened the door. I mean, they asked us to open the door, but since they saw uh, dogs, they like, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead. Uh, and uh, so we 
spent a ton of money to get import paperwork and documentation to get the dogs in here and uh, didn't need them at all. No. Although, uh, I think we can still use them for Honduras. Oh yeah, yeah. because we're going to be in El Salvador for a week, so yeah, okay. it's still going to be eight days. valid. Yep, but uh, here we are. We made it. Not so bad. Okay, so now that we're here, you may very well ask, very astutely, what are we going to do first? Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to Santa Ana. Santa Ana, like Santa Ana Volcano. Santa Ana Volcano. With a sulfur lake inside the crater. Uh -huh. So you have to check that out on the next episode, so make sure to subscribe. Leave any comments about uh, the video, what you thought, anything that we should add. Um, and uh, hit that bell icon so you can get reminded when the new video comes out.